Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So normally um, you'd be seeing a weekly vlog, but I've been a little bit behind on my content and I'm currently at Fashion Week, so New York Fashion Week. So basically I'm filming and vlogging New York Fashion Week and then that vlog will be next week, but the, since the weeks have kind of like overlapped, it's like a two in one, because I didn't want to like, I don't, I don't want to film like halfway and then halfway. So it's just a New York Fashion Week vlog that will be coming um, up next weekend. So this weekend I thought that I would do a how I edit my Instagram photos. It is so requested every time I change my feed and I feel like every time I film one of these videos, I change my feed right after. I'm also using natural uh, daylights. It might be coming in and out of yellow lighting, but whatever. Okay, my feed right now, let's turn on screen record. My feed right now is a lot less produced than it used to be. I used to be really into like having a photo of um, me and then like maybe a selfie and then maybe a, a filler photo and kind of keeping it like that, but I really don't do that anymore. I just throw up photos of me. <laughs> Mostly outfit photos, because um, that's the content that I really like to give you and that's the content that you guys like the most. So I do definitely do still do filler photos and stuff um, and it really kind of depends, but as you can see here, I have a lot of, you know, here is a filler photo. I really liked that. But then I have like selfies and eating photos <laughs> and then a lot of outfits. So sometimes I like doing these ones where um, it's like three in a row of the same outfit in different angles so you can really see the outfit, especially if the outfit hasn't been filmed for YouTube. I like to kind of give you like, you know, more than one shot of the look. Um, you know, like this set here, I really liked because it kind of has the same tones in it. So sometimes I'll do three, sometimes I will do two of the same look, and sometimes I'll just do one, but there really is no rhyme or reason. I would, my feet isn't like super beautiful or cohesive when you look at it, but honestly, I'm kind of over that. I was doing that for so long, and now I just like, I don't know, doing whatever I feel takes way less time which is good because I'm way more busy than I used to be so I kind of can just throw this feed together very quickly if you're looking on how to build your Instagram I have um, I have videos on that this will be in that playlist but I have like how to grow a following and all that I can update that as well if you want but right now let's just stick to how I edit my photos because that's the, the main question I have had a ton of different themes. I've gone from cool tones to really warm tones and vintage to really girly and pink and curated to not that edited and I feel like now I'm kind of like it's like a neutral warm not super edited. So let's just do it. Okay so the first the first thing I do is I, I favorite photos so that I take a ton a ton of photos. I mean I don't know if I can go here, but like you can see here, I take a ton of photos and then I'll go through and favorite them. And then they'll be my favorites photo folder so I can kind of look through them and I can also find them more easily. So normally I would go into Facetune first. So I'm gonna edit three photos with you. I'm gonna do one selfie and then probably one outfit photo and then like one filler photo or something. So we're gonna, gonna get the whole thing, but I'm sure you'll get the editing off the first photo because it's always the same. Um, Okay, so I have these photos of my face. Um, they would be my favorites folder, but I've already, you know, gone through and deleted them or whatever. So um, I can't remember the one that I liked. I'm just gonna do this one. Now we have a photo of my face. What I'll do is I usually just smooth out any areas, um, usually just like under my eyes, because my eyes tend to um, crease a little bit. So I just kind of edit it, soften up that. And then if I have any like pretty prominent blemishes I'll edit out those but I like to keep my skin looking like skin and then let's see you can just see the difference it's very slight sometimes I also find that depending on the lighting this was pretty good lighting but sometimes when there's like a harsh overhead light um your bags under your eyes can be a little more prominent so I just like edit that out because it's not cute um but this looks pretty good and I bring the smoothing down not that I bring it down pretty far so that it's not like you know, super smooth, like that's not natural. Um, and then I will, what else? Details, I think details are really nice, especially on the eyes. I like to detail my eyeballs and my eyelashes to make them look cute. Sometimes I'll even detail my little cupid's bow if I want, anything that I want to stick out. Sometimes if I have highlight on my nose, I'll do that. Um, but I just detail 
pretty small little things. And then I go ahead and I save it. Now I'll open up Visco. So we'll go and open that up. And then I'm gonna add the other photos. My Visco is having this thing where it like won't show my albums. Okay, so we have all the photos that are that we're gonna edit. So let's start with the selfie. So A4 is, I have it in my favorites, but I use A4. Um, that's what I've been using for a long time. And then I bring it down to like four. Um, and then I play around, depending on the photo, I'll play around with the exposure. So I can bring this one down. I bring up the contrast a little bit, usually sharpen. I bring up, you know, a tiny bit. Um, saturation, I'll bring up, you know, one or two. And then highlights, I usually, you can see here what it does, but depending on the photo, I'll bring it up or down. Um, skin tone, I always bring down a little bit to the red side. And then that's it. There really isn't that much of a difference with the editing. It's still pretty natural, which I like. With an outfit photo like this, for example, um, it's the same sort of thing, A4 all the way down. This one, I'll probably bring up the exposure a little bit so that you can see the outfit more clearly. I'm we'll always trying to make the clothes look as best as possible. So, um, especially with outfit photos, if you know if something looks a little wrinkled, that's where I'll smooth out. Let's bring the sharpness up and then the contrast we already brought up. Saturation, one or two or three. Highlights, skin tone down. So it just kind of like makes the photo just look a little bit brighter. And then I usually copy my edits and then I paste them onto, if I'm doing more than one photo, just to save time. I could even probably paste them onto these because it's all pretty much the same. And then for this, like I'll go in just to make sure that it looks good after pasting. So I think like this one, the exposure pre brought down, but everything else is fine. Then I will, oh, I didn't do this one. I will save to camera roll actual size. Very important. You want them to be the most clear. Then I go into the Teza app. Then I go into the Teza app and I pick my photo and then I use the vintage filter. Bring the vintage filter down to like, usually like 13 or 14. But as you can see, it kind of like just brightens up the background a little bit and gives everything like kind of a similar tone. Um, and then that's really all I do. Sometimes I'll add a dust 05 effect, but down like really far down. So it's like very unnoticeable. Um, and it kind of gives that more of like a faded effect, which I really like. Then I save that. Um, okay, let's do this open photo, same vintage effect. I'll bring it down to, you know, 13. And then for this, I'll probably up the grain a little bit add the dust 05 effect all the way down and it kind of gives that more of like a vintage vibe. Um, I guess I don't have to do all of them because you've seen these photos before. Vintage. This one actually looks a little blown out so I'm gonna just bring down the exposure. And then do the dust 05 all the way down, save. And then with a filler photo, I like my filler photos to look pretty vintage. So we have this Cafe Kitsune photo. I'll add the the vintage and only bring it down to like 26. I'll up the grain a lot so it looks pretty vintage and then I'll add the dust 05 and then I won't bring it down as far. So it just has more of a vintage vibe to it. Save that and then I go into my photos and I then crop the photo because you can get the right Instagram crop which is four or five um, and then I'll play with it so that Let's do this one. I also sometimes straighten photos, sometimes don't, depends on the photo. And then I can also like bring it in more so that you can see the outfit more clearly. Let's do this one, same, four, five. And then I like having, you know, I like it being kind of close up so you can really see the outfit because that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm always, I always want my clothes to look really good um, so that you can, you know, get in outfit inspo because that's the main part of my Instagram is outfit inspo. So that is that. And then what I'll do is I go into plan and I plan my feed. Um, even though it's not like super 
cohesive or anything i still like to plan to make sure that it's still going to look okay and i'm not doing like a ton of outfits and the same pose and stuff like that so i would add my photos into it and then i would just i would play around with it so i mean we've already actually added these ones in so let's just delete those because you've already seen them those have already been edited but i'll probably put like you know i'll just play around with the photos and make sure that everything looks you know good so i don't have like two half body on top of each other and all that and then um i go into instagram and i post the photo it's like it's very simple it takes less than 10 minutes it takes like five minutes for that whole process for me which is amazing because it's just really quick and easy and my feed is just super easy um not it, it's very true to how the actual photo was taken which um is what I like right now. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to follow me on Instagram and I actually love to help out people who are wanting to be content creators and do this. So what I'm gonna do is if you follow me on Instagram at Allegra Shaw and then you leave your username down below, I'm gonna do a little like story shout out um, and kind of do some top accounts that I really love and I'm inspired by. So remember to follow me on Instagram and then leave your Instagram handle down below so I can take a look and see all your pretty Instagram. I mean, this is for this video, but when I do those follow shout out kind of thing, when I do those follower shout out kind of things, I really like to pick people who engage with my content a lot. So, you know, people who I recognize their usernames because they comment on my photos and they like my photos and that stuff. So that's just a little tip for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, sorry about the ugh, lack of content. I've had so much technical, so many technical difficulties the last like month. It's just been a little insane. But Fashion Week, uh, content will be coming next. And if there's anything that you want me to address in Fashion Week, um, because I know my last Fashion Week video, I talked about things I kind of did wrong. Um, so maybe I can follow that up and do the things like things I did right this time. Just let me know, and I will add that into the Fashion Week blog. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Peace and love. Bye.